Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am just filming an outfit of the week video and I'm just gonna go through all of my outfits that I wore this week. So if you guys just wanna see the outfits that I wore this week, then just go ahead and keep watching. All right, you guys, so here's outfit number one. I hope you can see everything. This is literally as far back as I can go. I'm trying to like figure out how to do outfit of the weeks and this is the best spot I have. Like I said, my room is not very wide, so. <laughs> This is about as good as I can get, so I hope it's good. Anyways, this is my first outfit of the week. Um, right now it is SCAD style week at my school, so kind of basically everyone in like the fashion industry and like the fashion section portion of my school is stepping up their fashion game, so I feel like I have to as well because they're having a bunch of speakers like Steve Madden and things like that come and speak at our school and we get to go see them and like ask them questions all that fun stuff so you know I want to look good so this is my first outfit of the week it's only three days out of the week though so some of these outfits aren't going to be that fancy but this is one of my fancier ones so I'm basically just wearing my mom's old business top that I tied up into a crop top some black jeans a little black cat eye action and then these snakeskin loafers I think they're really cool I got them for like two dollars from a thrift store they're from Nordstrom and then a little black athletic headband. Very easy, very simple. I hope you like it. All right, you guys, so here's outfit number two of the week. So I'm just wearing this little bucket hat that I'm 90% sure my mom got for free for some like business, I don't know, wherever she used to work back in San Antonio, but it's just a Ritz Carlton hat. So random, but it matched my fit and I thought it was cute. So, and then I'm wearing just this little white IMG atop. You probably have seen these all over the place, but I think they're so cute and so flattering. And then these pants I thrifted from a local thrift store here in Savannah. I think they're so cute. I really love the cut of them. They're like little trousers. And then I'm just wearing little white sandals to match, but I want to show you up close the details of these pants. I don't know if you can tell, but they are scalloped, which I think is so cute. So yeah, there's the hat also. All right, so here's outfit number three. It is a lot more casual than my previous ones. Um, also, these are not my shoes of choice with this outfit. I would normally wear my hiking boots. They look like this. I just went on a trip to my dad's though to do a hiking trip and I'm pretty sure I left them there. And I'm not about to drive four and a half hours to go get them. So these will have to suffice for now, but yeah. This shirt I got on sale at Urban, these biker shorts, I got at Macy's of all places. They're actually technically Spanx, but I mean, they do the job. And then this jacket, one of my proudest thrift finds, is a North Face jacket. You can't really, I mean, you can kind of tell all of like the stuff came off in the wash. There goes the rest of it, but <laughs> you can still kind of see the label, but I got it for a dollar. So like, come on, it's funny. And I think it's really cute. And I like that the zipper matches the shirt and my little hair ties. They're pretty cute. And this little workout outfit. So here's outfit number three. And then I just wanted to show that same outfit without the jacket because I think it's cute with and without it. I feel like a cute little tennis mom in this fit. All right, you guys, so here's outfit number four. It is extremely basic. Um, this is kind of like my Thursday outfit, which is my last day of classes where I only have an 8 a.m. So I usually will go tan in the park after class on that day just because I have a lot of free time. It's like my one day of relaxation before the weekend. And I know that sounds weird because like the weekend is when you relax, but not really for STEM students because I have to do homework like literally all day, every day on the weekends. So Thursday is kind of like my Sunday. Um, <laughs> And that kind of explains why I have this little stain on my dress. I don't even know if you can see it. That is a taco grease stain. So I was having a really good time apparently when I wore this dress. <laughs> it is Thursday and this is the outfit that I wore today. So that makes a lot of sense. But other than the grease stain, I think this is a pretty cute outfit. Just wearing a little white scrunchie and little white matching sandals show you it without the jacket it's got a really cute little like bow tie detail and it's nice and cool because it is starting to get hot here in savannah so yeah there's this 
All right. Don't know if I'm in frame because I'm now wearing heels, but this is my outfit number five. It is my Friday night going out outfit. Um, this dress, I actually think you could probably still find. It's from Urban Outfitters. I just got it very recently. Um, it's really cute. You just tie it at the little shoulders here, and it's got a really cute little slit. And then um, I don't really have like a lot of going out shoes. I only have this one pair of black heels, so I had to incorporate black somehow. So I just put on this little cardigan that I got from Kohl's like an insane amount of years ago. And then I wanted more pink so I just added this little pom pom that I thought was really cute. And yeah, this is my going out Friday night dancing outfit. Alright, so here is outfit number six, I believe. I have never felt more like a Full House character in my life, but I absolutely love it. I even have a little like 80s side ponytail going on, but um, yeah, I really like this outfit. I thrifted this um, grandma sweatshirt from one of these local thrift stores in Savannah, and it was long sleeves and like all the way down here, but I cropped it and made it into a short sleeve top. I just loved it because it has little daisies and ladybugs all over it, and those are like my two favorite things in life. So yeah, and I'm just wearing like a little black tank top underneath some red sunglasses because they match the little red ladybugs on the shirt. These really 90s or 80s looking shorts with some combat boots and my scrunchie. And yeah, that's the look. All right, you guys, so here's outfit number seven. It is <clears throat> very extra. <laughs> Sorry, my throat just dried out. It is so reminiscent of Britney Spears to me, like early 2000s paparazzi photo. I will insert an example right here, but... I love this outfit. I think it's super cute, super fun. You know, it's a Sunday. I'm just going to go get my groceries and get caught by the paparazzi. Not really, but I don't know. I just love dressing cute. I'm going to post this on my Instagram. So if you guys want to see more of like just my daily life or like the outfits that I wear or get updates on YouTube and what I'm going to post and blah, 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 then definitely follow my Instagram. I'll have it linked down below and my name will be right here. And that's my last outfit. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this. I'm thinking about doing them weekly, like once a week. Just post my outfits of the week because it's a really easy video to do because I already pick out my outfits anyways. So it would be really easy to film them. So if that's something you guys are interested in, then just let me know. Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Alright, so I will see you guys next time and thanks for watching. Bye!